Hi, my name is Monica Burns. I'm an EdTech and Curriculum Consultant, founder of ClassTechTips.com, and a webinar host for Simple K-12. I want to share with you today a resource you can use to create brochures. Now, this is great if you're making a school brochure or showing off something special that's happening in your classroom, or for student projects. Maybe they're making a brochure of a faraway place that they have never visited but researched a lot. Maybe they're making a brochure and donating it to a local library or museum um, that they can use as a promotional item, um, really creating an authentic audience for your student learning that way. Well, we're here in Pages, and Pages is a Mac-friendly and iOS-friendly publishing tool. And so here in Pages, when you open it up the first time, you'll see the template box pop up on the screen. You can also access this at any time by going to File and New, which is where we are now. On the left hand side there are lots of different options. We're going to go down to miscellaneous where you'll see that there is a brochure, um, two brochure options. We're going to go ahead and click on the elegant brochure for now. And when we um, choose this, it will pop up and fill up our screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and fit this um, full page so you can see it. And you can see it has the first page here and then the second page here. So it really sets us up with two pages. Now you might be thinking, I'm not looking to make a brochure of a um, set of hotels in Hawaii. Well, this is something that's just really setting you up and you can customize it anywhere you want. So for example, if you are making a brochure that's going to be all about um, a local museum, you can put the name of the museum there. Um, you can then click here and drag in a photo of the museum. You can put a whole um, background here about it. You could add a map if you wanted or directions for people to find it um, and then the contact information. On this next page you can feature um, particular exhibits that are happening um, at that museum. Maybe you're putting in the dates that it's running to. Um, and adding that here with some pictures and information. Or you might say, I don't really love this box and we're going to uh, remove it or put something else on top of it. You can go here to the shapes and add any type of shape that you want as well. And this is something that makes it really easy to customize um, and even changing some of the colors and the feel of different um, parts of that brochure as well. You can click here and highlight the text and go and change the font if you're looking to change the feel or the look. So when you're making a brochure um, as a class project or maybe for a local event, um, this is a great tool to customize and get started with creating brochures.